New Zealand so close to keeping their 100 percent year alive. Maanono. Gordon Darcy brings him down. Ireland slow up release. Cruden. Dane Cole gets the pass away. It's gonna be the try. Second time, he gets it right, and New Zealand have won what has to be one of the most pulsating games of rugby union we'll ever have the privilege of watching. Aaron Ordecky barking out the instructions to serve at. Ball won by Julian Bonaire. Sam Warburton, though, with the enormous hit. Yes, take time See us really step in. And he just takes him, takes clear man and ball. Yeah, he just... okay, well, there's the decision. It is a yellow card. I think that's very, very harsh to get a yellow card for that. I think, as you say, Nick, it's pretty playing rugby. It's a very ferocious game. Uh, it's pretty hard to bring someone down with. Uh... Oh, hang on. Well, is that is that a red card? Is that a red card rather than a yellow card for this? It's a red card. Sam Warburton has been sent off in a World Cup semi-final. The captain has gone. One of the most controversial decisions in the history of the World Cup. Two minutes remaining. A penalty infringement, the man in front of a Scottish hand, and Australia now has a kick to hit the front. John Hardy is the first guy that touches the ball. Pretty sure he touches the ball there. It goes, it goes forwards, and then the last guy to touch the ball is Phipps, the 21, the, the, the scrum half. And he goes straight instinctively into a Scotland hand. You know, for me, there's two decisions. It's either a penalty to Australia or it's accidental offside and you have a scrum to Australia. Now, for a decision as big as that, which the referee knows that it's going to change the game and potentially either win or lose someone the game, he has to go upstairs. I cannot understand why he's not done that. Well, they go to the TMO for everything else. It's such a big decision. Why would you not go to the TMO for that? The British and Irish Lions have named their side to face the Wallabies in the third and final deciding test, due to be played in Sydney on Saturday. With some tough selection decisions to be made, the biggest news arguably comes at centre, where Brian O'Driscoll has been dropped from the match day 23 in a side containing six changes in all from the game in Melbourne. It's uh, tragic, you know, I mean, he's the best player we ever had in Britain and Ireland for 15 years, you know, and to end his career like this is uh, shocking. I mean, he deserves, he deserves it on the team. To be dropped from being a, a member of the team as a player on the pitch to not being even at a subs bench is a very, very severe drop and very harsh and very, very, very uncalled for, I would have thought. It's uh, you know, the first time any, any coach has ever had that decision with, with him in 15 years of rugby, so, you know, it's not easy for that to be the first time but you know he's he's still going to be very important for us for the next 72 hours in terms of his experience and leadership and Munster that close to the Leicester line Stringer puts in now Neil Back seemed to hit that with his hand it's one against the head but Stringer went straight to the referee Leicester get the ball off and Stringer and his teammates still having a go at Joel Jude. Yes, it was the hand of Neil back. No doubt about it. NASA defense. That's what the boys trying for, even there. No. Oh, huge hit off the line. It's a penalty. And that's the game right there. The USA Eagles have held their patience. And a yellow card. Keep the change. For the USA. As we see on the replay, Lavala, like the kid who gets caught in the cookie jar, he jumps out and then he comes flying. This would be the cruelest thing, the cruelest thing if Martin Williams was to miss it. A brilliant footballer, I say Martin Williams gets it. Well, we've always said that this man is a true footballer in every sense. The way he plays the game, let's see it now. Martin Williams, he doesn't get it. Leicester have a shot for the final themselves now. 
and Justin Marshall reaches in again. Lions very flat as McCall takes it up to the 10 meter line. You can just see from his face, facial expression, and then the wince there. It doesn't look good. Good man. Well, there's nobody on the England side, I'm sure, will leave that will miss this one. He's too good, he's played too well. 22 minutes gone, and England having just got level. Look as if they're going to go behind again. Hastings from under 20 metres. And he's missed it, would you believe it? He sliced the kick. Danny Kerr, and they'll be delighted to start by getting the ball back. Ben Bodega, though, surely he's just kicked it away. He's just kicked Montpellier to victory. He's given the ball to Jesse Borg, and it's appropriate that the Wallaby fullback is the last man in possession for the French club because he was the man who scored the two tries for Montpellier that helped to pull them away from this brave, this valiant, but ultimately defeated Harlequin side. Snapped up by Woodcock, Aaron Smith frees it up. Oh! oh. Sorry, all right? Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with that from my view as well. No, that's rubbish. No, disagree. Absolutely. The tail, Windsor, Holmes to Davies. And a penalty has been given for driving a man out of the line-out and uh, really that is a very serious one from the Welsh point of view and must lift New Zealand hearts. Very effective offensively, oh, and Williams outstanding. It's out the back, out of the order keep. Damien Try, Michelak, forward pass, the referees missed it. Michelak gets the pass back in field, Try. Michelak's in the game for, but a forward pass here was missed. No question that was forward. But Michelak got more speed than I thought he had, and he kept a cool head inside to Jalzion, and he gets the try for France. Well, oh. we talk about French magic, and that was a beauty. Forward pass or not. Look at the pace of the old man there, inside. Good communication there from Josie on, right on his shoulder, and he's over the line. Now Jeff Sinclair, brought down in the end by Richie Gray. He dropped his shoulder, the tackler was in a vulnerable position, and he greased him. That's a tough rugby play. It's unfortunate that he took a knock, again, David. and Pritchard will have a shot at goal. This is a brutally physical game. Well, you've led into the tackle, leading with your elbow straight to the head. I've got no choice, it's a red card. I don't agree with that at all. That's the decision from referee Mike Fraser. That's my decision. It's a deliberate elbow to the head. I've got no other choice. Back you go. The tackler put him in that position. The tackler put himself in a vulnerable position by going low to tackle a bigger man. Just here. Jeff Sinclair did not swing his arm. He dropped his shoulder. This way. I think that's a pretty harsh decision by the referee. There are 10 seconds left, and well, James Hook said, have we got time to go for the line-out? Chris White said yes. Well, we'll see if it's the right decision. Last, this is the last throw of the dice. 
time is up. I have time. Oh, and that's it! The whistle has gone, and that will cause consternation in Wales. I'm sure Wales were convinced that there was time to have the line out. They decided to go to touch because of that, and that's the reason for the fury from Gareth Thomas. Who secures the ball and gets the last chance? Oda Baron kicks off. Ball loose. Oh, offside! Offside! The ball came forward from a Lions player and it was touched by another player, I reckon accidentally. Accidentally, absolutely, it doesn't matter. What are we looking at? I think they want to see whether or not he actually was offside. Being in offside position. Owens. He gave himself up. We have a deal. We have a deal about the, the offside from 16. Yes. 16? Black or red? Yeah, 16, uh, 16 red, OK? Oh, yeah. He didn't play deliberately the, the ball, OK? It was an accidental offside. No, no, no. It was an accidental offside. We go for a scrum for black. Remain, remain. OK? And the rules, it's not an accidental offside. There's nowhere to go. Brilliant tackle there. Now here goes Adams once again, wide for Habana, gets past one, gets to another, this could be it, this is it, Habana has scored! And the Bulls pulled this out of the fire, they cannot believe it, the shot is a deathly hush around this park, apart from the ecstatic Bulls supporters.